little crossing of the chest from Margarito before he went out. There's been a flood of late money in Las Vegas for Margarito, who starts here as a two to one on favorite, and that has to be something of a surprise. In one of his recent fights, beat a very faded, it has to be said, Frankie the Surgeon Randall. Randall quitting on his stool. He'll be eager, he'll be fresh. Diaz, of course, blown away in six rounds by Sugar Shane Mosley. Though he's had four wins since that. And might be more used to the weight now, having moved up from light welter. This is, of course, at welter. The vacant WBO championship at ten and a half stone. Formerly held by Eamon Lochran of Northern Ireland a few years back. Bet you'd forgotten that one. Good start with the jab here from Margarito Glenn. Yeah, this is a fight that you'd expect to be a good clash. There's a good mix of styles here. The taller Margarito, the shorter Diaz. And you just think with a, a little bit of Latin mix that this could be a good one. The height and reach of the gangling Margarito could be very important here. Diaz has got to try to find a way on the inside. At the moment, he's eating Margarito's jab and a right hand too. It's a confident start, this, by the younger man. The question too, I think, of how much desire and ambition Diaz retains following that Mosley fight. But there's his best shot so far, that right hand. Yes, he's come through the, the occasional counter punch with some stub substance, Diaz. But it's the long and rangy Margarito who's making the, the best start. Busier, isn't he, too? There he is, jolting the head back of Diaz again. This division just crying out for a wee bit of charisma. Vernon Forrest had that great win over Mosley to take over as the top man in the division. But it's, um, it's not really bubbling at the moment. Margarito making a very, very good start here. He's got lacerating sort of punches. He looks the kind of puncher who might catch you up. Well, Diaz needs to start wakening up a little bit now. Needs to start getting some punches off. He's allowing Margarito to make this good start. That's better from Diaz. Two-punch combination. He just may feel, Diaz, that the late rounds might be his here. That's Margarito's excellent start, winning in the round. And there's Margarito. He turned pro when he was 15 years old. That's quite common in Mexico, isn't it? A bit late, in fact. <laughs> yeah, they like, to get their, they like to get their pros nice and young. Second round, green trunks of Antonio Margarito, Tony Margarito as he calls himself. And Antonio Diaz, certainly the one with the more experience at this kind of level. Holds wins over Corey Spinks, Emmanuel Burton, you might remember stopping John Thaxton. Mickey Ward, he beat Ivan Robinson. These are good wins. Well, he is a world-class operator, but just having trouble with the height and reach of Margarito. Great work with the jab, almost taking his cue here from what Vernon Forrest did to Mosley, isn't he? Now, this is terrific action in round two. Diaz is trying to raise the tempo himself. Well, he needs to do that. He's allowing Margarito to tee off from long range needs a bit more head movement Diaz he does doesn't he just thinking the same thing seems to be the way with Mexicans doesn't it though that they're, they're quite happy to take a few to land a few which of course over the years has made them such exciting fighters might not add to their longevity too much it's a good body shot too from Margarito making full use of his 
height and reach and busy 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 well, Diaz just prepared to stand and take these shots from Margarita he's starting to fight back now white trunks remember Diaz in this all Mexican battle Latin Fury they're calling this bill tonight and a good crowd too at the Bally's event center just across the road from Caesars Palace on the strip he has some success with the right hand he's starting to come forward really good second round here terrific action oh tremendous left hook Diaz Margarito though showed he's got a bit of a chin as well but just starting to get himself in the fight now, Diaz. Taking the shots from Margarito and starting to Ooh. land a few himself. Oh, these are heavy shots from Diaz. And he's picking the punches quite well. Well, Diaz here showing that he is going to put up plenty of defiance and not let the younger man have it all his own way. Well, he's finding him easy to hit with that right hand now that Diaz is starting to land that shot. Good second half of the round for Diaz. Good first half for Margarito. Margarito just in a bit of trouble towards the end of that last round. Diaz starting to get through with his right and a few defensive flaws coming through with Margarito. Diaz landing the good left hook, but it was the, the right hands that he had the better work with. Yeah, more accurate, Diaz. Just shaded the round, I think. Here's round three. For the WBO welterweight title. Currently vacant. Daniel Santos moving up to light middleweight. Diaz, by the way, who lives in California at Coachella and works in a jewellery store. Only part-time, of course. He's pretty busy with the boxing. Well, Margarita trying to get the, the long punches working again. After Diaz started to get himself back in the fight, he needs maybe to step back and use that jab more. Damage by the left eye, by the look of it, developing too for Margarito, who's wasting a few more. Diaz is starting to block them and just use his more rounded skills at this stage anyway. Margarito did go in for this very title with Santos. And he was cut in the very first round. It was a no contest, very unsatisfactory. That was last July. Here he is with another opportunity. More of the shots being blocked in this round. But of the two, Diaz looks the, the stronger puncher and maybe that will have the greater effect. Good body shots from Diaz. Working the combinations. One went a bit low, which is why Jay Nady was on the case. When you put two Mexicans together, you'll very rarely get a bad fight. Specific example, Morales Barrera. That'll be one to be going on with. Rematch coming up in June, of course. Just wasting too many in this round, Margarito. Diaz more accurate. There's a lovely right hand from him. Yes, yeah, just picking his shots better, Diaz. He's getting the stronger ones through. Margarito more long range. Not as good punches. And 
Now Diaz can see a big comeback night here, and that was a good round for him. Sixth round. Diaz in the white trunks, who formerly held the totally lightly regarded IBA version of the title but he made 11 defenses of that and it gave him a lot of experience of going long distances but he's looking here like one of the top welterweights in the world and I think he's grown into this division now as well when he fought Mosley he just come out the light welterweights it was ridiculous really to throw him at Mosley that early in his ten and a half stone career but I guess the money was good other considerations come into play. Now he's looking like a fully blown welter. Just a clash of heads. A bit fussy by Jane Eddy. Could have let it go, I think, there. So Margarita just showing the speed from long range, holding the head back of Diaz. Great right hand, legs seem to just buckle a little from that one by Margarito. I think Diaz fancies here that he can force the stoppage. Well just bit by bit he seems to be taking the resistance out of Margarito. Margarito looking to get lucky with one of those long right hands but it is the same thing time and again with him left jab and right hand there doesn't seem to be too many other schemes that he has I mean this is the test isn't it when you get to the higher championship level can you switch strategies can you replan it somehow and change stratagems in mid fight difficult Well, he really needs to find a punch just to, to stop Diaz from coming forward, Margaret. He needs to get Diaz's respect again. He's still plenty competitive enough, Margarito. And he looks strong, and he's obviously willing and fresh, and he knows it's his big night. He needs something, though. A good round to claw his way back into this somehow. He's working hard, but I think he's wasting too many. Yes, he's just pushing long shots out there's nothing really hard going in there it's Diaz who's got the, the solider punches best round in a while though for Margarito this one just a bit less from Diaz right hand there from Diaz well it's the right hand that's been the, the best punch for Diaz they're just just staggering Margarita with that one seventh round into the second half of the fight the fact that Margarito had such a limited amateur career might be a factor as well here I think something's come loose on the, yeah, the old bandage, same old problem, loose on Diaz's glove. One day they'll work out the, what is that on there? That's a big <laughs> chunk of Vaseline, I think, just oh, one wow. wiped from the glove.